Hey there everyone, I'm Doc Hash and today we're diving into the fascinating world of our eyes. Ever heard of keratoconus? Sounds like a spell from Harry Potter, doesn't it? But it's actually an eye condition where the front part of the eye turns into a cone shape. Now, don't let that scare you, we're not talking about ice cream cones here, but it can mess with your vision in all sorts of wacky ways. We're going to unravel this eye mystery like detectives, explore what it is, how it dances around your sight, and even look at ways to prevent it. And hey, we'll also take a sneak peek at some tests you might go through to diagnose it. So put on your detective hats, we'll make sure there are no surprises when you visit your doctor. Ready for some eye-opening facts? Let's take a closer look at Keratoconus together. Kerado, what now? Well, friends, your eye works like a camera, focusing the world around you. The image you see in the world first hits the cornea, the front clear part of the eye. This, along with the lens, refracts or bends light towards the back of the eye, causing the focus to be one single point. But in keratoconus, the cornea becomes cone-shaped and starts bulging out. This, you see, leads to light focusing in several points instead of one. Imagine trying to watch TV while wearing your grandma's glasses. <laughs> That's the idea. So how do you know if keratoconus is crashing your vision party? In the early stages, it's sneakier than a cat on a midnight snack run, completely quiet and unnoticed. But if you spot a child or teenager rubbing their eyes like they're trying to see the future, take note. This is a huge risk factor for developing the condition. Eventually, it feels like they're always squinting, like they're trying to read the fine print on a shampoo bottle. Bright lights might make them feel like a vampire, and they'll see starbursts, halos, or glares like a special effects show at a rock concert, especially at night when you view street lights or car headlights. I mean, who wouldn't want a free light show, right? But trust me, it's not as fun as it sounds. We'll explore this and more. Stick around, and let's keep looking into Keratoconus. Now, you might be scratching your head, but please, not your eyes, and wondering, what on earth causes this cone-shaped cornea craziness? The answer is, we're not quite sure. It's like a culinary mystery recipe with a dash of family history, a sprinkle of hardcore eye rubbing, a pinch of allergies, and maybe even tossing in some poorly fitted contact lenses for extra flavor. And speaking of eye rubbing, let's hit the pause button and give this some serious side eye. Eye rubbing is like the main villain in the Keratocona storyline. Sure, it might be an allergic reaction, or irritation, or maybe just your eye's way of dancing to their own beat. But listen up, friends. You've got to catch those habitual eye rubbers red-handed. If that's you, don't worry. We're not sending you to eye rubbing jail. Just know that rubbing directly on your eyes can cause damage. Want to know the superhero move? Rub the adjacent bone, and you will be saving the day for your eyes. Now. How do we catch these sneaky keratoconus devils? It's like an eye detective story. Early stage, it's hiding in plain sight. But with your history and a cool scan of your cornea, we can unmask it like a Scooby-Doo villain. Here, we use the corneal topography tomography scan. It's like shining a little spotlight into your eyes to see how your cornea is shaping up. This test doesn't just tell us what's up now, but it's also our go-to for tracking any changes over your visit. So you may be going to this party multiple times. A little light to keep an eye on things, if you will. If we catch it early, we can tame it with glasses or contact lenses. For the progressive types, we might even call in the super procedure known as corneal cross-linking, where we soak your cornea in riboflavin and zap it with UV light. It's like a spa day for your eye, strengthening it against progression. And hold on to your glasses, folks, because we're not done yet. In the superhero toolbox of eye treatments, we've got even more gadgets to explore. Ever heard of intracorneal ring segments? No? They're not trendy new jewelry. They're little rings we can place inside your cornea to bulk it up. It's like giving your cornea a gym membership to strengthen and shape it up. Not only do they strengthen the cornea, but help make your vision better. But wait, there's more! Ever thought lasers could help with your eyes? Welcome to the world of topography-guided PRK, a fancy name for a procedure as cool as it sounds. If you qualify for this laser dance party, 
will remove a teensy part of your superficial cornea to smoothen it out. Think of it as an eye makeover for three fabulous benefits. It sharpens your vision by reigning in that wide light spreading. Two, it can reduce that annoying refractive error just a tad, like turning down the volume on your eye stereo. And three, it redistributes the stress on your cornea, helping it prevent from getting worse. So whether it's rings or lasers, we've got your cornea covered in style. It's all about keeping your eyes in top shape. And who says that you can't have a little fun along the way? Stay tuned as we keep unraveling the amazing world of keratoconus. But even in severe cases, our trusty eye doctors have you covered with a corneal transplant. And for our friends in Pakistan, fear not. These super treatments are already right here at home. So whether it's eyeglasses or lasers, we've got the tools to keep keratoconus at bay. Stay tuned for more eye-opening facts. So friends, can you bulletproof your eyes against keratoconus? Sadly, there's no magic spell, but we're still unraveling its enigmatic origins. But fear not, a few savvy moves like ditching eye rubbing and making dates with your eye dog for regular checkups might just be the secret sauce to eye wellness. When do we see this problem emerge? So keratoconus mostly pops up during our younger years. Think kids, teenagers, and vibrant young adults. They're the ones having this hello flag to the condition. But here's a little curveball. If the condition is already developed, it may progress even in adulthood. All right, it's pop quiz time, and we are here to answer all of your questions. Number one, is keratoconus a form of blindness? Ding ding, it can be, in its grand finale stage where the cornea throws a fit and demands a transplant. Here, your vision will be almost completely gone. Can keratoconus leap from one eye to the other? No, there's no hopping here, but it does like to throw parties in both eyes, sometimes one after the other. It's asymmetric, but it happens in both eyes. And three, does keratoconus hurt? Usually, it's more annoying than a mosquito buzz, but if it throws a tantrum called hydrops, oh boy, brace for sudden pain and a vision vacation. Here, fluid fills your cornea and it completely loses its transparency. Hey parents, I've got a special message for you. It's crucial to catch these habits early on in your kids. If overlooked, they could lead to complications and even blindness. But there's a silver lining. We've got effective treatments that can set things on the right course and prevent any calamity. So if something seems off, head over to the eye dog. Your child's vision is worth it. And that, my friends, is the whirlwind world of keratoconus wrapped up. If your brain's buzzing with more questions, don't hesitate to ask us in the comments or interrogate your eye care detective. Early snooping is key, so keep those eye checkups in your planner. If you had an eye-opening time, smash that like button, share the wisdom, and hit subscribe for more fun medical mysteries. Stay curious, stay bright, and see you next time.